Today I have a new brand to the channel, Angelese, made in Mexico City, Mexico. Hello and welcome to fit to box channel. I'm Simon, full-time boxing coach and here on fit to box channel I bring you all things boxing equipment. Today I'm going to bring you Angelese and these are made in Mexico in a new workshop in Mexico City and these are made of cowhide leather. I'm going to go all the way over these gloves, give you a full review with the rating at the end. So these come in black, white and red with the silver reflective star on the back and these are slim for Mexican gloves they're actually based on Mexican fight gloves and I got these from Edgar the boxing collector I've featured Edgar on the channel before and he is my go-to guy for Mexican brands and you can see all of his sort of stock and what he does on the boxingcollector.com okay so what happens with when you buy some gloves there is the option where it gives you a free gift and the free gift is either uh, these which is like a lace and loop version which are the boxing collector as you can see that just goes on to the gloves like so so if you've got lace gloves you can convert them into velcro and uh, the only thing i would say about that is i have fed back to him that that sort of plastic badge i don't think is suitable for sparrings sharp edges and sharp sort of corners uh, on that so hopefully he can sort that but the rest of it is pretty solid you've got the hole there you've got that in the mexican colors you've got the elastic you've got the velcro and you've got that tab so you can grab and then the other thing that they've got let me just move this side the other option of a free uh, a free gift from him when you buy the gloves is he does do some knuckle guards and these knuckle guards i really like what he's done you've got like that pad there so you do have to um, do them in a slightly different way to how I would normally do hand wraps but let me just put them on really nice stretch they've got on them and then I'd, I would go at the back there through the fingers back of the hand through the fingers getting that X at the back of the hand with these and because of the stretch in the material these are really really comfortable so I'll go across there again and then and then I just need to deal with the thumb so going around the thumb like so and then again around that thumb before bringing it around so we've got the back of the hand all sorted and down to the wrist and then right at the end of these they have got as I get to it they have got a little bit of different material they've got that elastic there like so and then that goes round the wrist and then pulls round and then you've got the boxing collector on there again you can clear the palm like so really nice and comfortable very protective the only thing is on them i would say that that just clicks up a little bit as well so they're both free gifts that you do get when you buy the gloves so let's get back to those gloves 189 us dollars that's 144 uk pounds for the gloves and as I say, you can get them from Edgar, the Boxing Collector, at theboxingcollector.com. So these gloves by Angeles at the back, you've got the A in that sort of silver reflective star. And then onto the badge there, again, silver. A black dark badge, so that's good. I don't think it will get sort of dirty as if that was white, it would do. You've obviously got the made in Mexico there. And this is... You know it's just a cloth badge so there's no rough edges on the outside there as i bring you up to the front of the glove you can see with that white palm there and these made of genuine cowhide leather and then you have got a soft knuckle okay so that is only one layer of latex padding and that is a flat punch surface a Mexican puncher's glove when it comes to training gloves these are as you can see from that as you can see that is soft then we come on to the thumbs and from the front they do look very straight 
sort of in and very straight and from the side they do look very short from the side view and you've got that indicate you've got that attachment there and also this big bit that comes across just to make sure that there is no chance that you can thumb in these gloves and that's fine there is some comfort issues to that shorter thumb which i'll come on to later then we come on to the wrist and at the front you've got really soft padding i think it needs to be firmed up that padding because that is really soft and again at the back we still have a very soft um, wrist see how i'm able to crumple that up like that that is too soft for a wrist in my opinion especially when it comes to bag work on the bottom there you have got the 16 ounce indicator and then as i turn around you've got it starts in the open hand position you've got a firm grip bar in there and again as i say that very very soft padding that goes all the way from the bottom there right to the top and then we come on to the stitching i have to say the stitching it's neat i do think it is a well-made glove and let's just come on to the lining as well so the lining on many mexican gloves you've got like a canvas rough lining and they've got a nice soft lining in these gloves so you know that is a nice feature of these gloves so let's just bring it around for one final look Angeles made in Mexico 16 ounce on the label let's just have a look Put that there the left glove weighs 16.6 and the right glove weighs let's just make sure that's on there 16.4 uh, so those are perfect for a 16 ounce lace up glove so as well as the free gift that you get with the gloves, you also do get the Boxing Collector glove bag as well to keep your gloves nice and safe and protected while you're sort of taking them to and from the gym. So let's have a look at the comfort. Obviously on this one I have got sort of the Boxing Collector's lace and loop version and I put them on and really, really soft in the wrist area so there could be more protection both at the rear of the wrist and also at the front of the wrist that is very very soft then in the actual finger area they've got like a like almost like a, a cable that goes across there and your fingers go over that what i did find is it got a little bit pinched on the finger ends of that while while sort of using them you've got when you've got hand wraps on especially and then also there, a little bit of rubbing at that front knuckle right across there. And then onto the thumbs as well. My thumb is right at the end of there. And it did have, again, that sort of thumb pressure, both on the thumb pad and the thumbnail, right at the end. And that did cause, after a few rounds of sort of using them, a bit of numbness. And that was on both hands. So let me just show this one as well. And again, yeah, I mean, on this one, my thumb is right at the end so that I can feel the seam of the thumb attachment. So that is uncomfortable there. A little bit of tightness at the front, but again, the same sort of numbness at the finger ends, the thumb end, and also that little bit of rubbing uh, on the front knuckle, that first knuckle against that latex, that single piece of latex. So 
you can open the hands no problem for sparring um, I do think that the comfort issues do increase the more rounds that you do so if you use them for a couple of threes not so bad but I used them significant amount of rounds and and it really started to become apparent the areas of the glove that was starting to go numb and just feel uncomfortable as I bring that round you can see you've got that flat Mexican punch surface and these are definitely a Mexican puncher's glove when it comes to sparring um, that is a, a damaging um, punch surface especially if you compare it to say a winning glove which obviously is a much easier uh, sparring glove on your sparring partners that strike surface though is good on the bag um, again I did experience some fingertip and thumb and numbness and that very very soft wrist doesn't lend itself to really heavy heavy bag work now these are going to go into the fit to box middleweight lace price division for gloves 101 english pounds to 200 or 121 us dollars to 250 us dollars as you can see they are a mexican brand and they are made in mexico style 93 comfort 92 durability 94 sparring 92 bag 93 and value for money 95 at 144 uk pounds or 189 us dollars obviously plus shipping as well so these come out at 93.1 that is no fit to box stars they do rate as good gloves um so you know i'm not sort of saying that they're a bad pair of gloves i do rate them as good and then let's just go over the three mexican floors that i always go on to when it comes to mexican gloves firstly they've got the weight right so this company has got a pair of scales and they have used them and on these particular gloves the weight is fine uh, then i talk about weird thumbs and when i say about weird thumbs it's normally the thumbs on mexican gloves sometimes can have you at that angle haven't got that with these the thumb is in position but it's just that thumb end where it's sort of pinching um to the point where you know it is uncomfortable so i wouldn't say they've got weird thumbs i just say that they could be improved in the thumb area and then of course the other thing is comfort so some very rough comfort on some of the mexican gloves out there and i would say i've, I've had worse comfort in mexican gloves but i just think the finger ends the thumb ends the softness in the wrist again there's just little improvements that could raise these gloves up from being good to being a lot better so what i'd like you to do is check out edgar the boxing collector i think he's absolutely fantastic brilliant brilliant sort of resource that the world has got to sample all these different mexican brands that perhaps you wouldn't be able to get hold of or you'd have to do deal direct which in some cases is very difficult and edgar takes that all out of the equation and he deals with that and he's a great guy check out his instagram check out his website i really am impressed with what he's doing for the boxing community so a final look at these good gloves 93.1 no fit to box stars could be improved very easily with a couple of tweaks here and there i hope you enjoyed that please like and subscribe to fit to box channel and i shall speak to you soon